Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to load the Battle of Middle Earth to Rise of the Witch King uh, correctly. So when you first install it, you'll have the issue where it will crash on startup. Now this is due to when the game loads for the first time, it's trying to create these files in a certain folder in your app data. But for some reason with newer Windows, it, it doesn't allow it to, to happen. So let's go ahead and close the game. So there's the crash. Okay, so I've left a link in the description to the file you need to download. And it's this startup fixer for Bat for Middle Earth 2. I'm going to click yes. Select Rise of the Witch King. Yes. Now you can do this manually by going into the Roman, and I'll show you quickly what I mean. So we go this PC. We go into... C drive, users, your user accounts, app data and roaming, and then Battle for Middle Earth, Rise of the Witch King. <clears throat> and now these are the two files uh, created here, uh, which wouldn't have been there uh, previously. Now to access this roaming folder, you need to enable hidden files. So if we go show hidden files and uh, drives, <clears throat> we need to click this one here and apply. So now we should be allowed to open the game up. Now on OBS, you can see right now, it looks like the game's opened in a window mode, but believe me on my screen, I can see it as full screen, but with black bars at the side. So it's not at the full resolution of my monitor. I'm going to go ahead now and show you how to actually change that to run it in full screen at 1080p. So we need to go back to that Roman folder. And remember that you need to show the hidden folders. We need to open this options file and where it says resolution. We need to change this to 1920 by 1080. Click save. And now when we load the game up, it should load in full screen or full resolution to whatever monitor you have. If obviously, if you have a higher resolution monitor, you need to change that 1920 by 1080 to, to the native resolution of your monitor.